I'm Bobby and I like to make stuff. Today I'm going to stop my cats from destroying toilet paper with bent lamination. Today we're back in the bathroom doing another project here, but this time it's a little weird, but it's something that we definitely need. We have three cats and they have a really bad habit of taking rolls of toilet paper like this on the wall and just shredding them. We go through entire rolls of toilet paper before they even get used because they can stand right here and they can just scratch it. So today we're gonna make a whole new toilet paper holder to cover and protect the toilet paper. Basically, we're just gonna make a simple toilet paper holder, but we're gonna put a cover over the top of that. And I'm gonna use bent lamination, which is something I've wanted to try for a long time. So the first step is just to make the simple thing that holds the toilet paper on the wall. I'm gonna steal this part out of the existing roll because it already has the spring in it, it works fine. So we're gonna use this as the same core, but then make the pieces that hold this out of solid walnut. I went up and took some measurements from the existing holder just to make sure I got it as far off the wall as it needs to be and all that type of stuff. And so I wrote those down here and I'm going to use those to figure out the sizes on this piece of walnut. These pieces already have one flat side, but the other side is still kind of the rough edge. So I'm just gonna run them all through the table saw at the same thickness and get them down to the same dimension. The two side panels are now ready to have the hole put in them. So I'm gonna tape them together so that they're exactly in the same position. That way I can drill the same hole here as I do here for this to sit in. And then while they're attached, I'll take them to the sander and route this off so that they have the same round all the way on both pieces. If you see this clamp setup I've got here, basically what I did was just make a little slot for this piece of wood to fit in. That way I can drill a hole in one side, pull it out and flip it over and slide it in. The hole's gonna be in the exact same spot because I'm not drilling all the way through this piece. I just need to make a little indentation on both sides. To get these pieces to go together, we're gonna to make a half lap joint. So we're gonna notch out this corner and this corner so that they will just slot together. We're gonna to do that with a bandsaw. We got these pieces all sanded just to the touch and I'll come back and sand them a little bit more before we finish them. But first, we're gonna go ahead and glue them up to make this into a single piece. Now that I've got glue on these, I'm using these one, two, three blocks just to make sure that the inside corner is actually 90 degrees. It's not a real big deal, but I've got them, so I may as well use them. We did a whole bits video on these one, two, three blocks showing you all the different ways to use them. Go check that one out. The glue is all dry on this thing and I wanted to test it out. I put in the piece from the other toilet paper holder, fits in there just fine. So now we've got to make the piece that goes right here over top of the toilet paper so that the cats won't shred it up. And to do that, we're gonna use bent lamination for the first time. I say the first time, but I actually have done a bent lamination project before. I made a skateboard and I used a vacuum bag to form these thin veneers around a form. This time instead, ironically enough, I'm gonna use a glue bottle. I needed something that was a cylinder that was a little bit bigger, but not too much bigger than a roll of toilet paper. And this bottle of glue actually just happens to be the right size. So we're gonna try to bend these veneers around this form. So the first step is to cut them down to the right width so they fit in this flat area. Then we have to soak them in water so that they'll bend easily.
I want to soak these pieces in water, but actually don't need very much water. I don't need a big area. So I'm going to use a lid for a big container. And I think that should be enough. As long as we put weight on top of the wood to keep it underwater, we can just fill up this area. We'll give it a shot. Now this wood has been soaking in there for several hours now. It's pretty wet, but honestly, I'm not feeling great about this. I have a feeling these are gonna crack once I try to bend them. But while it's wet, while it's soaked, let's go ahead and cover them with glue and try to get it wrapped around this bottle. So this is truly ridiculous and honestly probably won't work, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. The reason I say that it won't work is that down here I see some of the veneers are not really being pressed together. I have a lot of clamping pressure, but it's not consistent across all the different parts of it. So we'll see what this one turns out to be and then we can make adjustments if we have to do it again. We've got some more veneers. This thing's been in the clamps overnight, so we're gonna go ahead and take them off and see if it holds at all. And honestly, I'm not super optimistic about it kind of worked. So it delaminated right here when I pulled it off. Those separated out. Now the good thing is we might be able to soak these with glue and then reclamp them to get it to stay down. I'm not really sure. This didn't exactly work, but it actually gave me a pretty good idea. You can see that some of the panels didn't even glue together, but if you bend it down, they do go into the shape that they're supposed to be in. They're just not really glued into place. So I think we're gonna try something different. I'm gonna take this shape the target shape and make a buck that goes on the inside and that'll give us something to bend around rather than trying to go around a cylinder. We don't need a whole cylinder, we just need that top half of the curve. So I'm gonna make that out of MDF and then see if we can clamp another set of these around it and get it to be fully in the shape that we want it. I got this quick little buck made. I'm not entirely sure it's gonna work, but I think it will. I just used scrap that I had in the scrap bin. Now I need to cover this with wax paper to make sure that the glue that I'm about to use doesn't glue the piece to this buck. So I'm gonna put some spray adhesive on the back of this wax paper and wrap it around this thing. After soaking these for a while, I pulled them out of the water, and this time I wiped off any excess water, so they're still damp, but they just don't have standing water, and hopefully that will help with the glue adhesion a little bit. This thing's been in the clamps over the weekend, so we're gonna take it out. But I did a little bit of research and found out that the best way to do this is actually to wet the wood, clamp it into place with no glue, and let it dry. Then you take it apart, add the glue, and clamp it again. So I kinda skipped a step, but we're gonna see how it turned out. All 
All right, so it actually looks like it worked. It's glued to the form a little bit, but awesome. So we have a little bit of delamination there, and that could have just been that I didn't get that quite clamped in place. But I think we can probably work around that, maybe add some glue and clamp that down again. But overall, it looks pretty good. Now that I've got this piece all glued up, I need to trim it down so it's the correct width. And it has to fit inside this area. I want it to go right down in here. So I'm gonna take this to the bandsaw and chop off the two outside pieces. And since there's nothing on the inside to support it in the saw, I'm gonna use the form. So I'm gonna wrap it around the form and then run that through the saw and chop off the outside edges. I'm trying to figure out exactly how to attach this part to the part that's mounted on the wall. I've got some lines drawn here where I think I'll be able to hinge it so it can lay down on the toilet paper. And then I've got a line here that should allow the toilet paper to hang down below it. Um, and we're just gonna give it a shot. I honestly don't know if this is gonna work. And if I mess this part up, I have to start over. I think I figured out how to put this piece in place now, but before I do that, I wanna go ahead and sand it up and get finish on both of these pieces, so the last thing will just be adding hinges. This thing's ready to put together, and I've got a hinge to go on here. This thing's really long but narrow, so it should work pretty well. We're gonna attach it right there so that this top flap can fall down over the toilet paper. The only thing I have to modify here is these screws. These came with the hinge, but they're way too long. They'll stick out of the back of the wood. So I'm gonna grind them down to make them shorter, and then pre-drill the holes to put them in and add a little glue here as well so I'm not completely leaning on a shortened screw to hold these together. That's, that's to simulate the cats trying to destroy the toilet paper, and they can't. Awesome. Last thing here is to put some holes in it so I can put in some screws and drywall anchors to get it mounted to the wall. All right, let's go put it in place. Now it's time for some very scientific testing. It works. Honestly, I have no idea if this is actually gonna work against the cats, but I think it should because they literally cannot get to the toilet paper anymore. But either way, it's a pretty nice looking addition to a bathroom. If you've got some other small projects like this that you've got ideas for that can make your life better, I would love to hear about them down in the comments. We've got tons of other project videos that you may wanna check out as well. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that and hit the bell so you know as soon as we put up a new video. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.
Got it, get it, get it. To make a skateboard. I. Ready? Freaked out. It's okay.